Let's see here, I got a nice black rat. I'm gonna skin her out. First thing I do is cut around the back legs. Make sure you cut it all the way. Put around the tail. Some people leave some of the leather on the tail. I don't. I'm going to take one leg, I take it uh, like this here. And then this is the belly fur here, and this is the back fur, and you want to go right down that line, right down to the, yeah, right down to the vent. Right through there. And do the same thing with this side. Up here. Now you go from the tail to that cup. I'm just gonna go start skinning out the bottom of the tail. Right here. I just cut right through that vent, don't worry about it. Get about that far, flip it over on its stomach. And finish separating the skin from the back of the tail here. And grab that and just work it up the side just a little ways here on each side. Cutting through, that's the bottom of the saddle there that you'd be cutting through. And I'll cut the bottom of the saddle away there about yay far. <clears throat> and I just use a thumb, put a thumb up there. And Get it up, up by that, uh, what do you call it, the, the bend in his back leg, his knee, I guess. And then just push in on it here. What you're doing is you're just working that down off that leg. Right. And do the same on the other side. Once you get that far, flip it over so he's like in a sitting position. I just lean right against the tail here. You can see that. And then take them by the face and by the back of the fur here. And just push his face <coughs> into his. And turn him inside out. Get that far. Leave my hand right in there. I'm going to just start it right up in here by the rib cage. On each side, careful not to cut your pelt. And then I'm just gonna work my fingers in up here, way up by the rib cage here. You do it down by the stomach, the stomach tears a lot easier. Do it way up by the rib cage, just below the front legs. And you get it all the way through like that. Hold it by the rib cage, and then use your other hand and work it down towards the tail. I should be able to pull it all pull down. And then you work your finger behind each front leg. <clears throat> pull it out. Yeah. And the leg. Just pull that out. Then what I'll do is I you got all this gland on the bottom side of the head here. I'll get a hold of all these glands and try and peel them back. These stayed on there pretty good. Back over on its belly. Right here is the ear. And over here, you see this right here. Work it back. You see there's the ear, the other ear right there. Using your thumb, pulling down. Put some stretch on it. Bring it down to the bottom side. I'm going to do around the bottom cheek here. Same thing on the other side. Pull them down and we work it down to the eyes. There's my eye on that side. And on this side. And 
you got whiskers right in here and cut cut the inside of the bottom lip and I pull it off the bottom teeth I'm going to cut around here Just work it down the teeth. There you go. A couple whiskers I missed. It. All skinned out. There's not too much fleshing involved with a muskrat, but there is some. You gotta, you gotta make sure you get in particular all this fat right behind the legs here. You want to leave the saddle on a muskrat. This here is a saddle wraps around here. Every animal has a saddle wraps around. It's a membrane, of, uh, actually muscle, I guess, that that comes over the front shoulders and down to the tail, wraps around the belly and ends on each side here and here. So what you gotta do is just start. Right about at the ears, I guess. Yeah. Below the ears. I'm just gonna push this off. Go down the side here. This. Just wanna get all this fat right here. But see, now I'm starting to peel back. So right here's a saddle I'm starting to peel back so when you get down to about there you see the fat ends go ahead and push that off now you could either turn around what I'll usually do is I'll just hold it hold it down stretch it out and I'll just come up this way backwards with my knife and take the top of that saddle off like that the back side here you don't even really need your flushing knife you can take some paper towels and just push whatever you need just that layer that's on top in fact I prefer pushing it off with a paper towel because then you're not digging down into it I'll use my my knife when I'm back down the bottom here <clears throat> but on the saddle you can use a dry paper towel and push that right back do this side here. Same thing on this side. sides I'm just gonna push off whatever's on the bottom make sure you clean all this off the bottom here Now I take my muskrat and put them on my stretcher. His nose up over there. Okay. 
What I like to do is uh, make sure it's on there straight. See, that's a little cat guy. Get a little twist here. <coughs> I'll, I'll take my knife and I'll make two cuts back here. side I put on these two points <coughs> I use uh, hog rings two hog rings here front first keep that on there sometimes that nose won't want to stay on there you take two clothes pins and pin them on there and help keep them in place pull down on the sides and pull both your your I don't know what the hell they call those things your stretchers down that's not bad 